Oh man, that was an amazing lunch. I, I love waffles. And you know what? The Waffle Hut, they have some really good waffles. But we need to get back over to our property because there is a lot to get done and the day is moving along. So we're gonna head back over to the property and buy some cows for our new cow barn. So we can get start getting growing some cows and then we're also going to work on getting them some food as well. Alright, the first thing we need to get going here is to get some hay made for the cows so that we have some food. So for that, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the straw through the production. It's not the cheapest way to do it, but it's the fastest and easiest. All right, so that should keep us going for a while. And I'm gonna head over here and we're, we're gonna start off with uh, 60 cows. Um, and I think the plan for that is we'll probably buy 60 cows um, every couple of months. Um, Cause these are beef stocks. So to truly get the best value for them, we need to let them grow up fully, which can take about 18 months or so to get the best price. So we're going to spread that out a little bit and just buy like 60 every, probably every three months or so. May get another cow bar on top of that. But yes, yeah, so let's get this all cleaned off here. And then we'll get it put away. Because we are all done with the spreader for now. All right, so we've got that all cleaned up and put away. Now let's head over here to the truck because we are going to head over to the store and pretend it's Christmas and spend a lot of money, new toys. Uh, so I'm going to do here, I think is, yeah, I'm going to hire a driver uh, to take the truck over to the store and then we'll take the tractor over. So let me get the store selected. All right, there we go. And we're gonna head over to our other yard here and grab the JCP and also get it sent over to the store as well. All right, while here, I'm also going to grab the front loader for this tractor because I want to get a bell spike. Let me see if I can get in here all right there we go squeeze out of here all right let me hop in the jcb and we'll get a worker driving that over to the store and then we'll follow in the class Oh, wow. How the heck did that happen? What is with the help and especially this truck? 
I've had them try to hump a car and now they're trying to hump a railroad crossing gate? Oh. There's a Are you kidding me? Did you just rear end my tractor? Oh. I, I got nothing. Like the help here is horrible. Uh, let's see if we get rid of this untangled mess here. There we go. Gotta get this back over to head into the store. And let's see what this idiot did. Do any damage? No, thankfully no. I got, I got nothing though. I mean, like, did you not see the tractor there? <sighs> All right. Well, let's just get uh, heading over to the store because we, we <laughs> need to spend some money and hopefully we won't have any more uh, incidents with uh, the hired help because, yeah, that's bad. All right, because I am still annoyed with the idiots I have working for me, I decided to come over here and refill the tractor up with gas because it was getting a little low. Um, that way at least I have a little break before I have to deal with the idiots again. Ah, uh, that's, wow, another $500. Oh well, we're, we're making some good money at least. All right, so let's head into the store and go on a shopping spree. All right, so we spent a lot of money. We bought some equipment, we leased some equipment, and we got a lot. Uh, we got a tree planter, we got some samplings for both Lodge Pool Pine and Ponderosa Pine. Also got a bale trailer that was uh, 60 some odd percent off which is an awesome deal. And we got a uh, bell spike, a yarder, and also a bell shredder to make sure we can, you know, give the bells, straw bells to the cows to make uh, good bedding for them. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is start getting things hooked up and then uh, kind of go from there. So let me get the JCB it up here and get this loaded up into here. I got to get a little bit closer. Maybe even closer still. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, it was the wide tires. All right, so can I put two in here? Don't think so. Nope. Okay. All right. So get that set up. And what I'm going to do is it's only 282 kilograms. I'm going to go a little bit uh, super manish here and uh, kind of uh, throw this into the back of the truck here. Yep, there we go. But strap it down. All right, so let's go ahead and hire a worker to take this up to a forest plot. And let me just hop in the class here. You know, in hindsight, I should have left the weight at home. But while we're here though, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put uh, narrows on this tractor 
so that we can use it with the sprayer and fertilizing of our fields without damaging the crops. Okay, those are not as narrow as most narrows, but they're narrows as far as the game's concerned, and that's all that matters. Alright, so let's go over here, grab the weight and the front loader. And then we'll grab the bell spike and get it set up and head back to our property. Let's see if I can fit through here. It's going to be a little tight. Um, let's try this again. Actually, there's a much easier solution. How about we just uh, move the bell trailer and truck and send them back over to our property so they're not in the way. Yeah, I'll just send it over there. I do probably need to make some more point waypoints over there. Uh, but I'll have the two for now. Alright, so that gives us a lot more room to work with. Whoops. Okay. There we go. And let's uh, get this connected to the build shredder. All right, and let's hit, take this back over to our property as well. Um, this will help out because you know, one of the plans, you know, for the farm is we have the barley field. And the main reason for that field that we got it is because they already had a planted crop and we're going to need straw for the cows. Um, and primarily it's going to be straw bales. Uh, so... Yeah, we're going to need a bell shredder to get those uh, bells uh, to the cows to use them for bedding. And also for when it comes time to make some TMR as well. Let me, uh, I think, act. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's give the cows some bedding. All right, just gonna switch the weight to the back here. And there we go. Okay, let's get the spikes pointed out. And I absolutely love this bell spike. It's one of my favorites because I am going to admit I am probably very bad at pallets and bells. And this thing has like an auto load, I guess you can call it, for the bell spikes, which is amazing. For someone like me who is really bad at it, it's nice. It, it makes it bearable to watch because <laughs> it ain't pretty how I normally do it. All right, let's get this. Load it into there. All right, and it just drops them in once you let it go, which is awesome. All right, so this tractor is primarily going to be used exclusively for spreading fertilizer, spreading herbicide, herbicide, and then also getting the bells and all that because it's the one that has the front loader so i'm going to go ahead and park this here and then a good use for the old tractor you know what we're just gonna call it old blue it's a faded blue so we're called old faded well this is still blue yeah 
because I don't want to try and figure out how to pronounce the actual name of this brand because I, I don't know and I'm, I don't want to butcher it. So we're going to use Old Blue here to get the bells shredded. Let me connect that. It's time for a straw shower, cows. Hope you like it. <laughs> All right, while it finishes off the second bell here, we're going to head over here and hop in the truck and let's get this bell trailer put into the shed. Uh, I think we have an open bay here just for it. I guess the straps also don't work on that little uh, tree sampling pallet either. <laughs> That's just sliding around. Hey, it fits perfectly. Awesome. Alright, looks like it's done with that bell. Let's check and see. Grab the third bell here. Get it going. Might as well get it all filled up with straw. All right, so that is the last of that bell. The cows have a lot of bedding now, which is good. And yep, it looks like we still have one bell left, which we will save for later. So let me get this uh, backed in here. And I will do this without running into the bowl, please. All right. There we go. All right, so yeah, we actually got quite a bit done so far. We got, we bought some cows and we got some straw loaded into the dryer. So we're making some hay and we got a bunch of bedding for the cows and we spent a lot of money to get a whole bunch of equipment. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I think we're done down here. So we're gonna head up to the other property and uh, plant some trees, but I think we'll do that in the next episode. So. I want to thank you for joining us on this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'm always looking for new ideas for mods or that will help out. Just, yeah, I always like new ideas and trying new things. So yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.